Hi everyone. Hi. Hey, I wanted to share with you, I have recently, I've always been making my own almond milk, but I've recently started making my own oat milk. Now, I'm not sure if you guys have actually made it before, but I wanted to jump on and just show you how easy it really is if when you use it with the Thermomix. It's amazing. So what I've done, okay, so I have done a little bit of pre-prep. Okay. I'll pop it in here. So what I've done is I've got in here, I've got my oats, there we go, just in the steamer basket, I've just strained them through. So I've got 250 grams of oats in here. Now I have rinsed these, I've rinsed them twice, okay, so I find that what that does, it actually just gets rid of the, um, the starch in this, which can make it a little bit slimy. So I've actually got rid of the starch, given it a good rinse twice through, okay. And I'll pop it in there. Now I'll show you a little trick in a second. So I'm just going to use this clear bowl so you can um, see the end result. All right. So I did. I do do this manually. So there is um, a recipe in Cookie Do. It is slightly different, but I just wanted to show you this one as well. Okay. So I'm going to pop my oats in. So 250 grams of oats. Okay. Pop that in there. Now you can use this with any. Thermomix, any of the Thermomix models. Alright, pop that in there, all that goodness. Alright, now where I do do a little bit of a twist, now I am I'm a little bit of a sucker for sweet, sweeter milk, I must say. Now, but if you prefer not to have it sweet, then you absolutely can just use chilled water. I do recommend it chilled, um, but I actually use coconut water in mine just to give it that added sweetness. To give it a little bit more sweetness, you can use dates as well. So I've got three dates that go in there, um, and I also put in a little bit of vanilla. So I pop in about half a cup. There we go, half a lid to a lid, about a teaspoon, half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of vanilla. And then a little bit of salt just to bring out the flavour. Yes, it's completely optional. Okay. And then with my coconut water, I actually put in about, no, actually, show me, let me, I'll activate the scale so you can see. There we go. So I actually put in a litre. Now I actually do four, cut like one to four. You can do one to three if you prefer. Uh, just make, and it makes it slightly creamier as well. So that's beautiful. But I do a litre. There we go. Done. Alrighty. Get that last bit of goodness in there. Okay, excellent. Close that off. Now this, honestly, this is where the magic happens. <laughs> okay. All right, swipe it across. All right, so I'm going to turn it on to speed seven. Once it gets going, I'm going to increase it. seconds all right now I just showed you before um, so I use a nut milk bag if you don't have a nut milk bag um, you can actually use a um, like a t-shirt or something that's really really fine sometimes you might find that some nut milk bags are not fine enough and um, actually let too much of the pulp come through but I uh, this particular nut milk bag is actually really good for mine now I'm going to show you a little trick as well all right so here's my milk and it's ah, it's amazing <laughs> okay so if you've got a thermo server which is one of these guys or as in my case I'm actually going to use a Pyrex dish so you can see what I'm doing but what you can do is actually flip the lid of your machine take off your measuring cup and if you have your thermo server this actually fits perfectly over the top of the thermo server but just so you can see what happens, I'm going to use my Pyrex dish. 
and it also sits over the top. So just literally sit it over the top like that, okay? Then grab your steamer basket with the nut milk bag, sit that on top, it's already, and it will actually strain perfectly through. But have a look at my oat milk. Isn't it beautiful? Look at that, yay. So I'm just gonna let that strain through. And you're done. Can you see that coming through? There we go. Hooray! And I'll lift that up. Can you see that coming through there? Isn't that awesome? So that's my oat milk. It is super, super easy and super quick and really, really cheap to make as well. There are no nasties. This will last about five days in the fridge. Okay, so pop it into a sterilized jar when you're done. Um, it will last about five days. Mine certainly don't last that long, but yeah, it will last about five days in the fridge. Um, and, or certainly you can keep it in the freezer. You can halve your batch and put it into the freezer if you want to. But I hope that's helped guys and I will see you very soon. Okay, see you, bye. <laughs>